All right, people, it's rest day. Another day on the bulk. I had a huge leg session yesterday, so I'm recovering today on Sunday. Sunday is always a rest day for me. I've got a little bit of a cold. Um, not feeling the best. Nothing serious, nothing that's going to stop me training, nothing that's going to stop me following my normal, my normal routine. A little bit of a cold, a little bit of a runny nose. Um, it is the way it is. You get colds, these things happen. You can't, you can't. A lot of people would use this as an excuse to miss training or miss their meals. That's never going to happen for me. I could be on my deathbed and I'd still be training and eating my meals. There's, there's literally nothing that would stop me getting after it. So got a little bit of a cold, but I don't pay attention to it. Anyway, let's get into it. It's rest day and on rest days, as you know, I answer comments from my natural bulk videos. I answer comments, I, ask, I answer questions and I dig into depth on some of the queries you have about training and lifting and diet and nutrition and anything in general. It doesn't even have to be lifting related. So let's get into the first question. The first question is from Chet Ubetcha dash IT 5ZV. Are you a coffee drinker and does it help in your lifts? I'm not a coffee drinker. My source of caffeine comes from energy drinks, monster energy drinks. I have about one of these a day, maybe two. Some people would say that's unhealthy. I don't think energy drinks are that bad. I've never liked the taste of coffee personally. Coffee's probably heavier, especially if you're getting natural coffee from good sources. Coffee's probably a little bit better for you. But I've never been a fan of the taste of coffee, so I much prefer energy drinks as my main source of caffeine. And yes, when it comes to training, I need caffeine. If I don't have one of these a day, I feel very low energy. I need that boost of caffeine on a daily basis. It's very, very important to me. One of the lights just went out, but I'll ignore that. Okay, thank you for the question though. Great question. Next question is from Arcad Dash Journey to Big Tech 9797. Why did you program your incline bench in such a way? Would you mind making a video about approaching to compound lifts, programming in a natty bodybuilding style instead of traditional powerlifting programs? Good question. The re I, I program my incline bench in a very powerlifting style, style way. It, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a natty power bodybuilder, so I powerlift and bodybuild at the same time. I'm trying to improve my physique and get stronger on this bulk. I, I incorporate traditional powerlifting methods, nothing crazy. I have a coach, my coach, Berserk Strength on Instagram. If you search up Berserk Strength on Instagram, um, Scott, a guy that coaches me, a great coach, he implements all these powerlifting techniques. Um, and they're nothing crazy that you haven't heard before, but he's very intelligent in the way he implements them. So the way I, I, I do my sessions is I start off with my heavy compound lifts, my incline bench, for example, and I do a powerlifting type rep range and sets, and I get that done. And then my accessories are more bodybuilding based. So I'll go onto incline dumbbell and do a slightly higher rep range. And then I'll incorporate flies and I'll do more bodybuilding based movements. But I always start with powerlifting first, then I do the bodybuilding accessories after. Um, and yeah, I, I, I mean, I, the, way I power, the, way, the way I program my incline bench is, you know, it, it, it varies depending on the session. Some sessions I'll come in and I'll do a five by five, a basic five by five. Some sessions I'll come in and do um, five sets of three or, or I'll do two wave, I'll do wave sets where you do ascending pyramid sets. You start off at 105 kilo, you go to 150, 125, then do another wave, you start 110, 120, 130, and I'll do ascending pyramid, which is another style of training. Sometimes I'll come in and I'll do a 20 minute AMRAP, as many reps as, many reps as possible in 20 minutes on three plates, which is what I did on, on my last incline. Uh, bench session. So it depends on the session, but I always start off with some kind of powerlifting movement, the incline bench, and then I'll throw in my bodybuilding accessories and increase the rep range. Thank you for the question though, Arkad. Okay, last and final question from Ninu Co 3 od Any tips for upper back training? It's my weak point. Want to hear your thoughts. When it comes to upper back training, just focus on the basics. Focus on the lat pull down. Focus on heavy barbell rows. Focus on heavy one arm dumbbell rows. And, and really try and connect with your back. You know, for, for me, the best upper back movements tend to be pull downs, lower back work, 
tends to come from from rows like deadlifts and and barbell rows tend to be a little bit more lower back associated so if you're really trying to improve your upper back for, for me the two best exercises for upper back weighted pull-ups and a traditional lat pull down on the cable stack those are probably the two best um, exercises you can do for upper back and just make sure you you really connect with the back so if you have to lower the weight Lower the weight, don't ego lift, make sure your back is working and not your biceps. Trying to limit, limit bicep involvement and maximize back involvement. A lot of people sometimes are doing their back exercises and it's all bicep, it's not, they're not working their back. So try and make sure you're really working that mind to muscle and if you have to lower the weight to improve the form, do that, don't ego lift. Um, and also make sure your, your nutrition's good because you can have the best training in the world. If your nutrition isn't on point, you're not gonna build muscle. So make sure your nutrition's on point. Thank you for the question though, Nina. Thank you very much. That's the, video, that's the video for today, guys. Just three questions. If you've got any questions for me on this natural bulk journey about lifting, about training, about anything in life in general, I'd be happy to answer them. I pick, I pick out a few comments every rest day and I, I try and answer them and provide as much value as possible. That's the video though, guys. Rest day. I'll see you tomorrow for chest. It's Nick Kajazi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel, the Natty King, the last true Natty Crusader, the heir to O'Hearn's Natty throne. Subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and as always, long live King Charles III, and God bless Sir Winston Churchill.